what's going on guys welcome back so in our last episode we ended up finding out more information about devil's breath long story short what it was supposed to be was this cure for genetic diseases it was never really called devil's breath nor was it intended to be this sort of bad thing that is going around right now we still don't know exactly what it is but after finding out some files going through oscorp and norman's desk we ended up seeing that this devil's breath is the ugly part of what it was supposed to be intended for and technically it's being used it could be used as this bioweapon now right now the lead doctor behind this or i'm assuming it's the lead doctor dr morgan michaels he is the only one that has the only sample of devil's breath so what we need to do is we need to be able to get that sample and make sure it does not fall into the wrong hands as of right now he's under sable's protection sable and her army's protection but that's just not going to do it for us we don't know the end goal for sable and her army and it's better than leaving it with the demons do not get me wrong but at the end of the day we need to be the ones that make sure that this does not get into the wrong hands for the most part that's basically how last episode went it was more of a information gathering episode trying to figure out parts and pieces of who is the lead behind the devil's breath what is it what can it do what is it capable of and how can we put a stop to it after all that we get a call towards the end of last episode from mary jane letting us know that she is currently right now at the same outpost that dr morgan michaels is trying to sneak her way to him so we got to go in and we got to save the day with all that being said let's go ahead and jump right back into it let's do this i don't know if i ever said this already but this game is just so beautiful. I mean, before the remastered, when it was solely on the PS4, it was already looking beautiful as is, and they made it even more beautiful. How does that happen? Let's go get our wife. Man, this outpost is it's legit. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Fifteen minutes early. Reach him. That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lores Pete gave me work. I'm telling you, these MJ missions, I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world, but I could do without them, you know, and I hope we don't get as many of them as we do in the sequel. Miles Morales was great because I don't think we had any anything like these. These stealth missions. The gap of the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Let's see. Wait. Gotta move now. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest hmm. must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Imagining things. Let's go. Let's get you over there. What the? are killing anyone related to devil's breath standish is in real danger standish i knew it i've got to get to that tent standish is secure ma'am lockout comms as well i do not want leaks to press about michael's or devil's breath on it. She's nervous. Standish must know something about Dr. Michaels. Okay, so I was way off. So um, it's not Dr. Morgan Michaels that Sable and her army has. It's Standish, which is the gentleman that we did save in our last episode, who also has more information about Devil's Breath as well. Crap. Generator tripped. 
I won't distract him for long. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michael's back to the new safe. I don't know how you're supposed to be the super smart trained, highly intelligent soldier. Oh shit! I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Truck's about to move. Should use it as cover. Go, go, go! I don't know why I thought I was supposed to get on that ramp. You looking over here, little bitch? Probably wasn't the best. Turn that way. Yes, that's what we want. <sighs> Made it. Bravo and Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. Go over here. Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Over there. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Well, how are we gonna get over there? Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to this heart. I need you to go over there. Why are you walking in slow motion? Yes, sir. We did it. Always scares the crap out of me doing these missions. I hate them so much. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. <laughs> and I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What's that? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Oh, what that was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> Damn. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing no of my life. No goodbye or anything. Jay is not <laughs> happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock him 
freaking out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? <laughs> is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? <laughs> Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Are you Peter. kidding me? That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. <laughs> nice work, Mr. Superhero. <laughs> All units. We have an active hostage situation. Officers needed in the East Village. If you do not meet our demand... Peter, Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let that <coughs> may know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. See what auto has in store for us. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? Mm. That doesn't matter. Oh, huh? okay. <laughs> Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. Okay. On it. You got Try it, to man. Get it under three milliseconds. Under three milliseconds? I'll do it in two. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. It's not bad, but we need it lower. It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Hmm. This right here. This right here. Right here. Bingo! Finished. 3.6, and we're almost there. We're almost there. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. Hmm. 
start off very negative. Uh, that should be good. Wrong one. What? There we go. <laughs> Easy peasy, baby. I got it, Doc. Two point eight milliseconds. Good work, Peter. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yes. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Mild? Do you need some help? Yes. <clears throat> Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd... like to seek a position with more of a... future... I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Love you, Otto! Group hug! Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Let's go take a look, man. What's this? Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. Is that a banana? I thought we were gonna look at the banana. No? Okay. <laughs> what is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross contamination between the neural interface and arms. Pretty decent. I wonder if there's anything else that we can take a look at. I think we've looked at everything, but no, we're not going to do that. 
I think we've... The device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend, soon we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Well, trust me, our life may be cool, but it's not a fantasy. I mean, it's not easy. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, 10 minutes late from stopping a mugging. I still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Uh, I don't think that's how that works, man. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful... An intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Really carefully, man. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well... I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <laughs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. You can. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. What's this? Hmm. Carbon fiber shell, segmented shell, more flexibility, sensors, connects the arm, elbow joint. Jesus. Um, Doc, I'm sorry, <clears throat> my aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you. The feeling's mutual. Trust, Doc. Hmm. Alright. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? <laughs> nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. All units, a truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Need immediate response. Sorry. Square. I got a main mission I gotta handle. That hit me? I'm gonna do that. Ground teams, report on the situation in the flat iron. Control, APC Bravo, engaging demons. What are you doing here? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, we got a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Come on. It's a little pathetic if you ask me. You want a little piece of this? Come on, baby. Is that it? 
Oh. Too easy. Miles, you good? You hurt? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson <laughs> uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Hmm. Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's... It's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously. Yeah, come on. <laughs> First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock, okay? I can take it. Oh, shit. Sorry. No, no. No. It's all good. You keep that up and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey. Uh, thanks. You know. Anytime. Aww. <laughs> Just punch Spider Man. <laughs> I don't know why that got me. That hit me in my my little heart, man. Delta should be just ahead. <sighs> Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our <laughs> hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then he'd be, like, famous. <laughs> yeah, I'll show him next time. I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Cool. Later. Uh oh. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection. Excuse me. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, man. It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Wow. That was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecure. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Okay. Okay, time to move. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I can go under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. Oh, scaffolding. scaffolding will work. I guess I can't reach that far. Drones? Gotta blind them. I have the authority to arrest and detain you. Those things have mounted guns? I can't let them spot me. So cool. Come on. Ignore me. I'm invisible. <clears throat> okay. I'm in the clear. Hmm. Phew. That was intense. Oh, hey mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief shelter okay? Uh yeah, almost there. Miles. You don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. <laughs> I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. But this is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. We'll get through this. Okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Let's go, baby. You know what? Just, just 
keep breathing? I'll be back soon, Mr. Hunter. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place? Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. <laughs> and I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <laughs> oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. <laughs> Got the time. Get it going. Or, could be a loose coax <laughs> cable. <laughs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. <sighs> Gotta put some respect on my boy Miles. Tributes continue to pour yeah. in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerged that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the Hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Thanks. Bitch! Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. See if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. <laughs> nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. <laughs> Hey, Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving <sighs> Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? Maybe you can teach her how to it cut off and carry it, Miles. Thank you. I mean, what, what's up? They could. <laughs> she can't the cut a carrot. She can't cut a carrot to save her life, man. I mean, what, what are we doing? I like how we always exit out the front door, but somehow we're on the roof. Classic. <laughs> All right. Hey, Yuri. I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. <laughs> ah, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. This is the Bowery, but where's Dr. Michael? We're ready for you, Dr. Michaels. Is that the devil's breath? Damn. It's called GR-27, not... <sighs> Just be careful. In the wrong hands, this could... Don't worry, we're the best in the world. I wonder why there's four slots. <sighs> Maybe it's just a brief case. better already. Code 381. Package is on the move. They say they're the best in the world with the Stormtrooper-like outfit and their Stormtrooper aim. Come on. <laughs> this way, Dr. Michaels. What the hell is that? That's what Tombstone was working on, man. That's where those big tires were.
Yo, what happened to being the best? You guys are gonna let Morgan Michaels get kidnapped. Bruh. There's Lee. Damn. Welcome aboard, Doctor. Yeah, sure you do. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> Yuri, I'm in pursuit of Martin Lee. I think he's got Dr. Michaels and the Devil's Breath. Copy that. Four units coming your way. He took Michaels alive, so oh. that's good. Probably so we can force him to make more Devil's Breath. I have to stop that truck, tank, whatever. guys in the trucks before I go after Lee. Oh! Get over here, baby. Keep shooting! Hey, stop shooting! What the? What the? Oh, 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 oh. Miss me? Oh! You're just gonna shoot a rocket on your truck? Oh! He's coming. He is coming, and he will destroy all sinners! Look at that guy, he's using a hot dog. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Please, hand it over! I like how he ducked all late. What's your status? Have you apprehended Lee? Yo, what are these graphics? I just went through a car. A small, small amount of nitpicks. I'll take this! What are you doing to me? Giving you a new perspective. What the hell? I must be honest. I was hoping to bring you here. My abilities lend me a certain persuasiveness. I've been watching you. I was waiting for you at City Hall. You never came. Where were you? Is this real or in my mind? It was a shame so many had to die with no heroes to save them. That officer saved your life, didn't he? He was here because of you. And Norman wanted to use him. A futile gesture in the end. And where was Norman during all this? Slinking away. Like a rat. He knew what was going to happen, and he fled. Norman is a hidden cancer on this city. He must be excised with no trace of his corruption to return. 
Norman hides behind his mask of lies. I will break it apart and drag him into the light. Put on the mask. Become one of us. No, sir. Thanks, but no thanks. One way or the other, you will join me. Oh. Lost the innocent victims you couldn't save. Martin, hey, what's going on? Whoa. Your hands. You can stop Osborne. You have so much strength. I can give you will. Lives, baby. You defend Osborne while he sits in his ivory tower. Oh, oh. this isn't real. Show me your true strength. Heal before me. Oh, sir. Sure. Expose you. <clears throat> Come here, baby. Where are you going? The shadows are sworn to me, and I will give them strength. Oh, what? Destroy the mask. I won't abandon guy. you in the darkness, Martin. I will break you and leave you brain dead. Uh, uh, you can't. You can come back to the light. Oh. I will find your family and kill everyone. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! No. <coughs> Please tell me you have it. Are you okay? Did they take it? Fuck. Yes. How worried should I be? Very. You're a popular guy. All right, man. <laughs> Where's the serum? I'm gone. The Discoya. The Discoya. So called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. Hey, where were you? This is your fault. Oh, my fault. Oh, oh, oh. He was under your protection. You really need two of those? Oh. Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. I'll go with her. Thank you. I'll remember this. Man. She got lucky. That's all I'm gonna say. Yuri, tell me you've got a lead on Martin Lee's location. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Let me finish. We have a partial plate. And one of my patrol guys just found a matching plate. Black sedan in a parking lot near Canal and Hudson. You're a good cop, Yuri. I'm on my way. Spider-Man. Hello? Is this working? Dr. Michaels? How are you calling? Borrowed one of Sable's radios. Listen, <laughs> transit hubs are the most likely release points for Devil's Breath. Airports, bus terminals, train stations. It'll spread like wildfire from there. 
Why the hell is Oscorp developing a bioweapon in the city? Shouldn't this be in an arctic bunker? Devil's breath is personal for Norman. It's been his obsession for decades. The project breaks every state and federal regulation on the books, but he doesn't care. If the city finds out, he can kiss re-election goodbye. Yeah. Never mind re-election. He'd be tried in The Hague for war crimes. Why are you telling me all this? Aren't you just as culpable as Norman? Yes. Completely. But these actions have been a wake-up call. We've ignored the project's risk for too long. I trust you, Spider-Man. You're the only one trying to do the right thing. Please, protect the city from our mistakes. Hey man, we're trying. All right, guys, I think that's a good stopping point for us. Thank you guys so much for coming into this video. I really do appreciate all the love, support, and everything else in between. And as always, it's been your boy Dials. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.